here next to we have some fish. So put the fish on the rice. So it's a delicious fishy ricey meal. Dude, this rice is so good. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Been here in beautiful Osaka, Japan. This morning what we're doing is we're taking the bullet train from Osaka back to Tokyo. When I came to this part of the country four days ago, I took the bullet train from Tokyo to Kyoto and it was amazing. We're going in first class, which is a little pricier. It's the green cart. It cost me 19,230 yen, which is basically 190 US dollars. And the reason why I wanted to go the green cart, you know, the more luxurious route, is because I have an assigned seat. I have a place for my bags, I got Wi-Fi, I can charge my batteries, nice bathrooms, and there's less people, so I get a window seat. There's usually no one sitting next to you, and you can just relax, you know, recline your seat, and chill. And before going on the train, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a bento box. This is what everybody does here. They go to get a bento box somewhere around here, nice, delicious fish for breakfast, get on the train, and they eat. It takes two hours and 30 minutes to get from here back to Tokyo. It goes 200 miles an hour, and uh, yeah, it's almost time to go to the platform. I got about 40 minutes, so I have to go get the bento box right now. Are you guys ready? Let's go. And uh, the bullet train leaves from this station, Shen Osaka Station. It's, uh, it's really busy, as you can see. I mean, this is the bullet train area, and I got here using the metro, the subway from the Namba Station, so Namba is where I was staying, and it was, it was pretty quick. Um, but obviously with your bags, it's a little intense. I mean going up and down the stairs and as you can see I mean the, these train stations are like freaking malls. I mean there's restaurants There's uh, convenience stores. There's so many things. I mean souvenir shops it doesn't end I just gotta find where my train is and then I'm gonna let me see Yeah, it's that way. So I'm gonna go that way and then find a bento box. Okay, so I found this uh, This place that has a billion bento boxes. Look, it's just like never-ending bento boxes. Some of them have rice with eggs, some meat. I don't know, I really want one that has this fish, pure fish. Let me ask if they have fish. Excuse me, bento box? Bento box with fish? Fish? Fish. This? So 1,100? Bring out of money here. <laughs> oh my God. Cash is king here in Japan. Cash is king. Yeah. Hold on, one second. 1,001. Okay, okay. Arigato, arigato. Thank you. Thank you. So we did it, we got our bento box. Thank you, arigato. And uh, as you can see, what they do here is that they show you with fake food what each bento box has, which is pretty amazing. I've never seen that before. Usually people see that and they're like, oh, it's not good, but here it's pretty good. I spent like 20 minutes trying to find the bento I liked and I found it, but now we have to run to the train and here it is, central gate, south gate. It says to go this way. Man, it's like a maze, it's a freaking maze in every single station. All right, so we found it. The gate's right here, 90 meters away, but now we have to try to find the platform. Now, which platform is it? Because there's so many trains, so you get, really have to make sure you're on the right one. Oh, luggage problems. It's always like this. It's too much. Sometimes I wish I could put everything in my backpack, but I can't take that much stuff, especially for winter. All right. This is the official entrance, central entrance, chickens and trucks. As you can see, this place is extremely busy, but there's also a lot of transfers here. And I just asked one of the guys, one of the security guys, like, where is this? Because I don't see anywhere where it shows it to me. He said, go to track 26, just be there, you know, five minutes beforehand and you're fine. All right, guys, so let's go upstairs so I can show you what this train looks like. It is freaking amazing. As you can see, there's literally a train every 15 minutes. I was right here at the cart where my line is, you know, eight, number eight right here. And a train came, waited three minutes, left. Another one's coming right now. Oh my God, that's beautiful. I don't know if it's coming here, but there's another one right there. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it comes, here it comes. Let's get on the train. 
重席は列車の後ろより1号車、2号車、3号車です。So, what I did is I just went to the back. I went to 1D instead of 10D because 10D is between like five people, and I want to be like talking to you guys. I want to eat and talk to you guys, and I don't want like, you know, to have a problem. Because here in Japanese, you know, culture, you have to be really, really quiet, and it's harder when there's people around, obviously. To do what I'm doing.、Oh, this place is comfy, as you can see. So amazing. Look, put that. You can also recline. Nice. And,、uh, and then you also could charge right here. One thing I didn't get last time was a blanket. Look, amazing blanket. Taking that home. <laughs> okay, so this is very funny. And、uh, the guy who checks the tickets came and he saw my ticket. He's like, You're on the wrong train. I was like, Wrong train? He's like, Yeah, you were on the train. It's like the 856. And I was like, I just thought it was the next train, so I just got on it. <laughs> the thing is that there's so many that I was like, Oh, that has to be it. I mean, you get on, you wait a little bit, and you leave, right? But we left. I didn't notice. It's not even that yet. Whatever. That's good. I get there like, what, 10 minutes earlier? Better. And、uh, we're actually stopping. We make a few stops. We make a Kyoto stop, and then we stop at two other places really briefly. I mean, like, we get to stop just one minute, people get on, and that's it. And、uh, as you can see, we're flying. Like, literally, we're just like zipping through the country right now. This is freaking amazing. It's so fast, it's so silent. And yeah, the reason why I'm in the back is because I want to be able to talk to you guys. And here, like I said before, in Japan, you gotta be like, Do not talk. So when you come with your family, it's like you gotta be like really, really, you know, no one talking. So I got to. Love this. They always give you this to wipe your hands, right? No towel. Amazing. Everything in Japan is amazing. This train's amazing. The people are amazing. The food's amazing. Also, if you want to go to sleep, it doesn't make any difference though. After a quick 15 minutes, we're in Kyoto. <laughs> It's crazy. That's so, so fast. That's insane. When we stopped at Kyoto Station, two passengers got on the train and one sat right in front of me. So, not to disturb him, I moved to another seat so I can show you guys my bento box. And here we have it. How beautiful. And this is Osaka Castle. Alright.
like fish for breakfast every day. You know, just being here and seeing how everybody does it. It's either this or a beef bowl. I actually really go with the fish. Nice veggies. Mix the rice. Break up the rest of the eel. I went with the smallest version of the bentos. Those are huge bentos. Bam, is filling. And this is what the bullet train is all about. Get your bento box, eat while you fly through Japan. I mean, the experience is amazing. You can barely hear anything. It's like it's like a little whistle. And as you can see right now, there's a lot of snow in the country. This is winter. And also, if you want drinks, you want coffee, sake, beer, whatever you want, there's a lady coming around with a cart. You can buy something from her. So good. Okay, so our next stop is Nagoya Station. I think this is the last stop. I might be wrong, but it's only been one hour. We still have uh, another 90 minutes to go. Super fast. Okay, let me show you the bathroom. So between cart eight and seven, we have the toilets. We also have a smoking room, as you can see right here. Smoking room, in case you do smoke. Here we have, you know, private. We have a sink so you can wash your hands. We have a urinal. And then we also have a place to throw away your trash. So here you throw away bottles and cans, and here you throw away other trash. And that's basically it, guys. Um, to get a little rest. We still have like 75 minutes to go. When am I see? I'm gonna pass out. See you soon. Okay, so I slept a little bit. I didn't want to sleep too much because I want to see Mount Fuji. On the way from Tokyo to Kyoto, I completely missed it. And that's one of the main reasons why tourists take this train. Now, if you're going from Tokyo to Osaka or Kyoto, like in that direction, definitely get window A, so CA. And if you're going from Osaka or Kyoto back to Tokyo, get CD. And what I did is I asked the crew member, you know, when are we passing Mount Fuji? And she had a little paper and it said 1041. And it's 1036 right now, 1036. We're gonna pass it in like six, seven minutes. Mount Fuji, it's freaking gorgeous. So that was Mount Fuji and I'm super excited because over the next few days I'm actually gonna be traveling in that area and we're gonna get really close to Mount Fuji and get epic views from a lake. The bullet train is called the Tokyando Shinkansen and it runs 320 miles from Tokyo all the way to Kyoto and Osaka. It launched in 1964 and runs up to 200 miles per hour. It basically runs every single day and there's a train every three to six minutes. The line averages almost half a million people daily and it's the most heavily traveled high-speed rail line in the world. It is very important that you exhibit proper Japanese etiquette while traveling on the trains. Talking on phones is considered to be rude and it disturbs everybody around you. If you have to use your phone, send a text message, but put the ringer on silent. Speak quietly to your travel companions. And if you are sick, it's best to buy and wear surgical masks to avoid spreading germs to others and try not to sniffle, sneeze, or blow your nose. Listen to loud music, placing your bags on neighboring seats, and not giving up your seat for a sick or elderly person is forbidden. All right, so we are entering Tokyo. We are like one minute out. I had such an amazing ride. I'm very tired, but very relaxing. I actually wish this was like five hours long so I could just sleep because it's such a relaxing train ride. The seats are so comfortable. This thing goes like all the way back, as you can see. And lots of leg room. I mean, everything's here. They also have Wi-Fi. I haven't used the Wi-Fi just because I have like my own data plan. But it's cool. The views are stunning. It actually moves so fast that like you just zip by everything. And yeah, let's get to Tokyo. Oh, we made it. Wow. Now what I have to do is I have to get out of here and get an Uber. Because where I'm going is really far and there's no way I can go with this luggage. Let's see, let's see how we do this. By the way, in case you guys don't know, Uber is extremely, extremely expensive here in Tokyo. It's only in Tokyo and all Japan. And the reason for that is because of taxis. They basically like outlawed it in the rest of the country. But here it's it's Uber, but it's like black car Uber. So really, really pricey. I mean, I have to do it because there's no other way to travel with all this where I have to go. God, it's brutal traveling with this luggage. Like, I don't want to complain about it all the time, but damn, it sucks. This is Tokyo Station. This is where I started my journey here in Tokyo. 
I think it's the biggest station in all of uh, Japan. But somebody told me the Kyoto station was bigger. I don't know about that. Tokyo, I'm back. I'm back. All right, he's gonna be here in eight minutes. Eight minutes, we get our Uber ride. And it's gonna cost me like 40 bucks. Hey, my friend, how you doing? Really good? Good. Thank you. Ooh, this is fancy. This is like, this is like super luxurious. Sick black car. Yeah. Oh, this is great. My friend, very nice car. Okay. Like it. Thank you. Oh. So we're going to my hotel and it's called Rem Rapongi. Rapongi, no? Rem Rapongi. It's in the area of Rapongi. Skyscrapers never end in Tokyo. 30 million people, guys. Biggest city in the world. What I love about Tokyo is, well, everything. It's so big, so clean, so many people. The skyline never ends. And there's easily like, say like 300, 400 neighborhoods you're gonna explore. That's how big it is. That was a quick ride. Only 25 minutes and $41. Arigato, arigato. Arigato. Rem Rapongi. Hopefully I can check in. Arigato. The lobby was extremely packed, so I decided I'm not gonna film it. You know, here in Japan there's a privacy issue, so I just said, you know, no filming. I can't check in until two, so I have to wait a few hours, so I'm gonna walk around. But I really hope you enjoyed this bullet train experience. It was really amazing. I mean, going from Osaka here to Tokyo, just epic, incredible views. The bento box was delicious. I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. And that's just something you gotta do when you come to Japan. Go on the bullet train, you can either go from Tokyo to Kyoto and back, or from here to Osaka and back. You know, it, it's just a must do. It's way better to do that and to get on a plane. You know, you go from Tokyo Station, right in the middle of the city, you get off in Osaka or in Kyoto, like right in the middle of the city. So, I mean, there's no better way to do it. It is the most traveled high-speed rail in the world, and you should add it to your bucket list. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Japan.